Sudanshu Mittal. Taking forward, in fact, that's what I was about to say. All authority, no responsibility, no accountability. You know, the later part, no responsibility and no accountability. That's been the hallmark. And if that has been the hallmark, is it leadership? I just heard Mr. Singhvi talk about Rahul. I just want to say, leadership is all about leading. 43% attendance in parliament surely cannot inspire confidence of leadership and taking the democratic institution seriously. Only two debates in his entire uh, career as a member of parliament. Is this what it is? What are your views on corruption? What are your views on security, foreign policy, FDI? I mean, you have a whole lot of issues which this nation needs your vision about before you take up the mantle of leading okay. this country. In the concluding part Obama, of Centre Stage Obama, tonight, I, I want to take up uh, whether Rahul Gandhi has been guilty of convenient uh, politics, of taking very convenient positions. When it suits him, he wields all authority. When it doesn't suit him, he's got nothing to do with what the Manmohan Singh government is up to. And is that a negative? Given the fact that he hasn't, even in the interview that he's given to Dainik Bhaskar, he hasn't answered any questions on the non-performance of the UPA2 about corruption allegations against the Manmohan Singh government. He's focused only on what he intends to do in the future. Can Rahul Gandhi completely disassociate from the baggage of the past or is that baggage which he will carry and needs to stand up and account for which Sangvi goes first? I think Rahul Gandhi frankly has wasted the last year when he was made vice president of the Congress in the Jaipur session, I had this view, this that, and we discussed it on the program, that perhaps he would now come out, say what he stood for, try and make his position clear as distinct from the government's position. He's done nothing. We still don't know what his views on economic policy are. We don't know what his views on foreign policy are. And as for distancing himself from the Manmohan Singh government, we suspect that he doesn't agree with a lot of it, judging by the fact that he tore up an ordinance. But we don't know. My guess is that he may try very hard over the next few months, but ultimately he's going to pay the price for anti-government feeling. Rajan, Rahul Gandhi wants to disassociate himself from the UPA's failures, but can he do so? He's a part of the system. He can't now claim to be the outsider. And is that something which someone who wants to be prime minister can do uh, without getting into a trap? You know, the tragedy of Rahul Gandhi is that he spent the last four or five years, I think uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi is quite right, that it's not as if he did not engage with politics. He was, he plunged headlong into uh, reforming the Congress party, starting with the Youth Congress. Somewhere down the line, that project ran aground. Uh, the, the kind of reform, the kind of transformation that he wanted to effect in the Congress party simply did not take place. And when he accepted the position of vice president, this was in a way the formal acceptance of his defeat, uh, of acceptance that that project of his had failed. Uh, it's an irony of sorts that the Aam Aadmi Party and the way it connects with people is precisely the kind of thing that he wanted the Congress party to do. He was unable to do that. So the party has had the last laugh. And you can see whether he becomes prime minister or he remains uh, as he is, He's unable to shake or to change the kind of entrenched uh, behavior pattern that is there for everybody to see. Once in a while, he acts as a corrective. So he tells the Maharashtra government that, look, you cannot shelve the, the other sh report. Uh, left to itself, the Congress party's instinct is to bury it. Veer Bhadra Singh, we have yet to hear, hear him say anything. Uh, Rahul Gandhi, you know, say anything on this very serious charges against Veer Bhadra Singh. So the old party is essentially having his way and that's going to be like a millstone around his neck. So I think even if he means well as an individual, even if he has a lot of different or interesting ideas, his ability to implement them will be forever constrained by the fact that the Congress party, which is the party that he's going to lead, is incapable of rising to that challenge. Okay, Dr. Uh, Singh, you know, so this is being really well meaning of, is not good enough. Gandhi, that at the point Kejriwal has shown many, that you can actually get done a lot of what Rahul Gandhi has been saying he wants to. Over the last 10 years, he's been talking about reforming the system, but despite being in politics for a decade, failed to do so. And therefore, that raises questions about his ability to turn his thoughts, well-meaning thoughts, into positive concrete action on the ground. Dr. Singhvi. 
it's I think firstly it's axiomatic that Rahul Gandhi becomes Prime Minister only if the Congress comes to power and the Congress is validated by the electorate is obvious and the reverse is also obvious I don't think Rahul Gandhi in any manner is in the business of dissociating or distancing from the Congress as far as that is concerned second I think what role he has played and again the basic point is that Indians are not used to a person not getting ministerial post in power so they cannot understand the position of a person who has decided to be a honest and a constructive critic but remain in the party so this is a paradigm which is very difficult for Indians who go after power and look up to power with certain amount of awe, awe and admiration to understand it is true but he has in fact discharged the role of a honest and constructive critic but you can't expect him to be a demolishing critic of his own government okay shiv vishwanathan so tried to strike rahul gandhi has been talking and about wanting to make the sort tender, of changes that kejriwal has shown to that, to that role are possible to be made in politics rahul gandhi wants to open up the political system kejriwal has done a lot of that rahul gandhi said the right things but failed to deliver on those does that show that he is not always able to translate his good intention into action or is it just a very difficult challenge given that he's got a 125 year baggage to deal with shiv vishwanathan look i'm very sympathetic to the man but i think we face the fundamental irony that the entrenched interests of the party have defeated all his intentions now that he's utterly ineffective he can be made party leader the irony is within the congress the nation is merely confronting that irony that's uh, that's an interesting way of putting it uh, sunil alag your final comments kejriwal did a lot of the things that rahul gandhi wanted to does that show that rahul wasn't able to translate his ideas into action and does that then raise questions of what he can do later look as far as i'm concerned neither rahul rahul is very honest kejriwal is very honest both have good intentions neither have the experience to run a country and for me until they showed some whether they have the experience as a minister or whether they have the experience in stating what their policies are what their philosophy is i mean neither one of them are doing it so as far as i'm concerned the only man who's doing it is modi and that's the man of the hour for me well you've heard all points of view represented on our show tonight from rahul gandhi is not capable to rahul gandhi is ready uh, to modi is the only man to all people are equally confused and that's the dilemma the people face you've heard these points of view being articulated uh, by these speakers thank you very much gentlemen for joining us on center stage tonight and lighting up our program with your arguments ultimately it is the voters who will decide whether or not they believe rahul modi or kejriwal are ready to be prime minister thank you very much for joining us on the center stage